Hi, welcome to our channel of IGNU Audiobooks, Indira Gandhi National Open University, School of Vocational Education and Training, SOVET, Master of Science, Information Security, MSCIS. Semester 1, MSEI 021 Introduction to Information Security. Block 1 Business Needs and Security Awareness. Unit 2 Security Awareness. 2.0 Introduction. Security, the state or quality of being secure, freedom from fear or danger, defense. Or protection. Awareness, knowing, conscious, alert. We use computers practically for most of our jobs lives these days and hence are too much dependent on them. We use them as tools for work, data storage, school work, shopping and entertainment. As a lot of important information is always stored on our computers we have to make sure they are protected from any kind of loss of information. Businesses also have to secure information on their computers to protect it from various forms of attacks day and night. The PC of an individual user is also not safe anymore as most of the PCs are part of a big network i.e. internet and hence open to all kind of attacks from various sources. A generic term is used to define all these risks and called computer security. Risk. This term refers to the likelihood that some action could cause the loss of information, computer hardware or denial of service. Although we can't expect all computer users to be technically sound to handle all the security-related issues themselves, we can at least make them aware about the security issues and other impact factors that may be critical to the mission of an organization. The security awareness or information security awareness is an activity simply to focus attention on security. Awareness programs are intended to allow individuals to recognize IT security concerns and respond accordingly. At the same time, we have to remember that security awareness is not training and we have no intention to train people to handle the eventualities rather we are making them aware of when to raise alarm and to whom. 2.1 Objectives After studying this unit, you should be able to dot, understand the need tilde f security awareness. Explain different activities related to security awareness and understand the roles played by different people in security awareness. Program 2.2 Fundamentals of Security Awareness People are our greatest strength and our greatest weakness. Quote dot, the saying summarizes and emphasizes the very need of security awareness and explains us as to why security awareness is so important. All organizations have people using their IT systems. If these people are not aware or made aware of how to properly use the systems and taught about potential attacks and seams, it can't be guaranteed that our systems will remain protected and used securely. It is important that both home and business computer users take action to shield their computer from these threats to their security. Computer security methods are not always 100% foolproof but they have the capacity to decrease the risk to computers significantly. As soon as a solution is found to protect against one threat, a new way to gain unauthorized access to them is invented. Computer users on home networks are more at risk to have information stolen than our computers on business networks mostly because of the more advanced security on the latter. And the internet is a network even more susceptible and at risk when it comes to security. Another problem with security on the internet is that there is not one centralized point to manage security and safety on the information highway. Security awareness is an important element of protective security. Awareness provides physical, information and personnel security measures as well as informing staff of their governance requirements such as rights, duties, ethics etc. 1i. As we have stated earlier that awareness is not training. However, some people tend to mix training with awareness. The basic objective of awareness is to change the behavior of a user, administrator, or owner of a system to that of a more secure behavior. The basic objective of training is to give the user tilde administrator or owner of a system the necessary skills to securely use t tilde at system. It should be generally made mandatory for every user, employees to undertake security awareness as soon as possible after starting with the company. It is also a good idea for companies to include security awareness in their induction programs. Companies should hold regular awareness sessions to confirm prior knowledge and inform employees of any new measures.
Companies should hold additional sessions if the threat environment changes. An example of a topic for an awareness session is virus protection. The subject can simply and briefly be addressed by describing what a virus is, what can happen. If a virus infects a user's system, what the user should do to protect the system. And what the user should do if an infection virus is discovered. 2.3 Security Awareness Program Life Cycle dot. Managing information system security is no mean task and a never-ending effort. Irrespective of how well we secure a system today, new threats and issues will appear tomorrow that will send chills down our spine. User support, IT staff, enthusiasm and management buy-in are critical assets for overcoming the constant barrage of threats. It is because of the above reasons that information security awareness must be made an integral part of any security plan or program. Employees at all levels must be made understand that they have to play a large part in protecting the agency information assets. Awareness teaches employees that they are a key piece of the total security environment. Through continuous awareness sessions, everyone will start taking security as a matter of daily practice. Only with full support and cooperation of all employees in management can a successful information security awareness program be established and maintained. In this section, we discuss a four-step life cycle of an information security awareness program. 33. Steps 1. Awareness Program Design. In this step, a company-wide needs assessment is conducted and a training strategy is developed and approved. Every company has its own working domain in. Similarly, threat domain. The analysis helps in determining on what issues should be disk JSSED in detail and which issues should be left out of discussion. Strategy. Designed for one company may not fit for other one because of difference in working. Environment. This strategic planning document identifies implementation tasks to be performed in support of established company security training goals. Step 2. Awareness material development. After the analysis and assessment of threats and categories is over, it is time for security officers to develop the materials to be used for training either in-house or by outsourcing the same. This step focuses on available training sources, scope, content and development of training material, including solicitation of contractor assistance if needed. Step 3. Awareness Program Implementation This is the most critical phase of the security awareness life cycle as it disturbs the whole schedule of the organization. All the users need to be trained. But it is almost impossible to make all of them available for such activity putting at risk the productivity of the organization. This step demands a lot of persuasion and adjustments both on the part of trainers as well as trainees. F4. This step addresses effective communication and rollout of the awareness and training program. It also addresses options for delivery of awareness and training. Material, web-based, distance learning, video, on-site ETC. Step 4. Post-implementation activities. This phase is actual operational phase as the user is going to put to practice whatever he, she has learnt in earlier phase. It may cause some temporary disturbance if the user is not properly trained or has misunderstood some concepts. This step also gives guidance on keeping the program current and monitoring its effectiveness. The security team has to constantly organize some activity like Feedback methods, surveys, focus groups, benchmarking ETC, to keep the security aspects in focus. We will discuss more on this in further sections. Models used for security awareness program. The security awareness life cycle can be implemented using any of the following. Three common models. Dot. Centralized model. All responsibility resides with a central authority, e.g. chief information officer. CIA, and IT security program manager. This model may work for a small organization where number of users are limited or strict security guidelines are in place with mature users. Dot. Partially decentralized model. Training policy and strategy lie with a central authority, but implementation responsibilities are distributed. This model is for those organizations which are multi-locations or multi-department. The training for department or location in charges can be conducted at a centralized place. The trained persons can then take care of imparting training for users under their control. Fully decentralized model. 
Only policy development resides with the central authority and all other responsibilities are delegated to individual company components. This model is suitable for large organization as it takes care of formulating a uniform policy for all the regional offices to follow. Security awareness efforts are designed to change behavior or reinforce good security practices. Companies can supplement the security awareness efforts. USINS any of the following simple methodologies. By running campaigns that address the ongoing needs of the company and the specific needs of sensitive areas, activities or periods of time. By providing security instructions and reminders via publications. Electronic bulletins and visual displays such as posters. By including protective security related questions in staff selection. Interviews. Performing various mock drills and exercises. Inclusion of security attitudes and performance three the company. Performance management program. It is recommended that the program should use a mixture of delivery methods. And CBM price of hands-on tasks. 2.4 security awareness sub-programs. An information security awareness program brings information security. Awareness to a personal level. Since everyone is responsible for the security of the information they use, it is important that they should be taught as to how to incorporate the rules and procedures into their daily operations. The idea here is to make security a part of everyone's day without being repetitive. But every such awareness program requires creativity and constant updation in pedagogy. Fig. 1. Decision table. Used for training. Look at the SCREEEN. The above table describes how a user should respond in case OEN eventuality. This decision table should serve as a starting point of awareness program. An information security awareness program process of a company consists of two major tasks. 1. Awareness sessions. 2. Awareness materials. Tilde. The purpose of this program should be to provide structure to an awareness program so that it can cover all the users. It may include training techniques, materials to produce and communication correspondence to announce, deliver and support the awareness program. 2.4.1 Awareness Sessions In the awareness sessions, all employees should be taught the importance of information security. They should be told explicitly about the rules that must be followed and what to do if there is a violation. This activity acts as a pillar to information security awareness campaign in any organization. Information security policy and standards are rendered ineffective if individuals at any level of the company are unaware of the importance of security policy, do not understand established standards or fail to perform required practices for any reason. Good security is a state of mind that can best be achieved by a program or process that reinforces the concern for protecting our information assets and appropriate actions for doing so on a regular and ongoing basis. 2.4.2 Awareness Materials We must be clear that providing training about information security is not a one-time event. Good security practices are never obvious, intuitive or easily incorporated into established routines to improve the effectiveness of information. Security standards, they must be known, understood, believed to have value in. Appropriately and consistently practiced. The awareness program must be supplemented Y.TH a good material that the user may be allowed to have so that it can also be used for any future reference. The material may either be a simple text material or can be an audio, video tutorial. The materials provided must contain the company's position with regard to handling. The many aspects of information security. All the rules, guidelines, do's and don't tilde, s. Should be properly elaborated in the materials. I. Continuous and positive supplies in the form of new and innovative materials help. Improve the level of information security and strengthen the policy. Without such efforts, policies or standards may be perceived as not relevant, necessary or valuable and may be followed, but not be practiced in a manner that supports full effectiveness. The following tools can help us to keep our awareness program meaningful. Dot. Refresher campaign sessions. An awareness campaign is a good way to initially incorporate an information. Security awareness program. A campaign can advertise that the information security awareness program is coming soon and with good promotional items. The company can gain employees' attention, emphasize key points and even educate them on key security issues.
I. Give small prizes, i.e. free lunch or a coffee CVP, for exemplary staff. E. Give traffic ticket, whammings reflecting rule violations. I.e. workstations. Not logged out or locked during a fire drill. E. Adopt an annual information security awareness day with special educational materials and events. I.V. Use the tagline of focused on security, committed to success as the theme that represents information security awareness at our company such as regular updates to materials. Every organization needs standardized information security awareness. Program materials. It may also need to develop additional training materials. Checklists etc. As in when companies needs change and evolve. Dot. At staff meetings or group meetings, handouts about awareness issues are a great way to get tips into users' hands and in front of them in a non-computer based manner. A handout can include a small pamphlet explaining why it is important to use secure passwords. The latest information on identity theft or how to catch a phishing seam. Promotional items, similar to handouts, can include items such as a small desk calendar that, for each month, gives a different awareness tip, a planner. That gives reminders to reset passwords on days to match password policies. Or a stress doll that represents a sick computer, which a user can squeeze. These items are great things to hand out because the users can place them on their desks, see them every day and become more aware. Top management communications to staff. Sending weekly or monthly emails from top management is a great way to keep your community up to date on the latest tips and remind them about the old tips that they might have forgotten. It is also a great way to give them real-world examples of what happens if security is breached. For instance, you could send out an email that references a recent laptop that was stolen and had saved on it thousands of records of people's social security numbers and addresses. Use examples like the stay help reinforce what you want to show them to help change their behavior. The management may use any of the following tools to send their message across to their staff. Dot, email messages. Dot, articles in the company's newsletter. Magazines, internet articles for circulation. Dot, bulletins and alerts. Dot, posters, web announcements. Dot, quiz to measure results of the program. Giveaways, buttons, pens, certificates, t-shirts, mouse pads, pen holders, coffee cups. An organization can leverage websites loaded with awareness information to get the latest awareness information to the community. These sites can give the users a place to check for policies, contact information if they think a security-related incident has occurred, a list of security personnel and contacts, links to other awareness sites, and tips on how to secure their computers at home, because they were likely to have not been the ones to secure their own computers at work. It has to be kept in mind that an activity such as awareness program cannot be conducted in a vacuum. It will surely eat a lot of productive man hours of an organization, therefore it is imperative for the management to strike a balance among the productive and safeguard activities so that the organization is not Negatively impacted on account of security awareness program. 2.5 Make security awareness implicit. Every organization has its own set of activities that every employee has to undergo. E.g. induction, interview etc. One of the easiest ways to implement a quality security policy in organization is to incorporate it in every possible activity thereby making it implicit. The awareness program must begin with the support of senior management. Ideally the head or the security officer should launch the initiative by sending in email briefly summarizing that security is the responsibility of everyone in the company. Information security is every employee's duty. Specific responsibility for information security is not the responsibility of the information systems division. Only information security is multidivisional and multidisciplinary in nature. Information security awareness can be incorporated into the following activities. As every employee has to pass through these stages while his stay in the organization. 1. Involve everybody. Information security cannot possibly be adequately addressed by a single division within the company. Every employee must do their part in order to achieve appropriate levels of information security. After all, information can be found nearly 
everywhere in the company and nearly every employee utilizes information in order to do their job. It is only natural that every employee should be specifically charged with responsibility for information security. 2. Continuous Awareness Refresher Courses All employees, employees, consultants, contractors, temporaries etc. must receive some level of information security awareness and training. This training requirement must be included in all contracts. Workers must be provided with sufficient training and supporting reference materials to allow them to properly protect the company's information assets. Management should allocate sufficient on-the-job time for employees to acquaint themselves with the company's security rules, procedures and related ways of doing business. 3. New Performance Review Orientation Dot. The company should go one step further and incorporate a question into performance review forms. The question could read something like this, does the employee observe information security policies in the course of his, her work? It must also be supplemented with additional instructions, telling employees exactly what is expected of them. Employees failing in such reviews should be motivated to take up the security policies more seriously. At the same time, employees getting good grades in these assessments should be suitable rewarded. 4. Don't exclude contractors and part-timers. Contractors, agents working on behalf of the third party, auditors and other non-employees in a position to impact the security or integrity of information. Assets of the company will be made aware of the appropriate information. Security policies. These individuals must sign a statement acknowledging they have received and read the policies and understand their responsibilities in addition to signing a non-disclosure agreement. 5. Mandatory Awareness Training Information security awareness training must be made mandatory. Every employee must attend an information security awareness class soon after the date of employment to provide evidence that every employee has attended such a class. Each employee must sign a statement that they have attended a class, understood the material presented and had an opportunity to ask questions. 6. Signed agreements. Without confirmation that all new and existing employees are aware of security policy there is no assurance that the desired actions are understood or followed. Failure to follow security policy or practice security standards for any reason reduces the value of such statements to documents of prosecution and negates the positive reinforcement and protective intent for which the information, policy and standards exist. The company should require users to sign a statement that they agree to abide by information security policies and procedures. A signature on a form with this statement and a summary of the policies and procedures can be required before a user is given a user ID and a password. Their understanding of the security policy by annually signing a form Acknowledging that they agree to subscribe to security policy. The intention is to annually remind employees that they must abide by the company's security policy. From a legal standpoint, it is desirable to have employees acknowledge in writing that they have read and understand that adherence to these policies is a required part of their job. If they are subsequently terminated due to security policy related problems, there is no doubt that the employee understood what was required of him or her. This agreement, therefore, reduces the probability of a wrongful termination lawsuit. Dot, to provide evidence that every employee has attended mandatory information security awareness class, each employee must sign a statement that they have attended a class, understood the material presented in, had an opportunity to ask questions. For existing employees, a modification of this agreement could state they must attend within six months of the date when such courses become available. Every worker must agree in writing to perform his or her work according to security policy and procedures. All employees with access to computer systems must be informed of security policies and procedures and their responsibilities in writing. All natilder employees will sign a statement acknowledging they have received and read the policy and understand their responsibilities. This should Include knowledge of the consequences of violations of security. Procedures. A signed statement indicating awareness, compliance and intent of continued compliance with information security policy and standards will be required upon annual review of each employee. 2.6 Management and Levels of Awareness. Program. 
it should be understood that not all level of personnel require same level of security. Awareness. Managers at any level many require a different view of information. Security business practices. Upper level management may need simply an executive. Overview. While middle management and user management may need to know. More about prevention, detection and incident reporting. 2.6.1 Management of Awareness Program The organization needs to run different kind of awareness program for different set of users. It has to be managed via various tailor-made programs and can be classified as following. 1. For permanent staff. Security awareness training for permanent staff is a must but it is very difficult to stop regular work of the company and invite the staff for training. It is generally implemented by extending the office hours or taking the staff on an outdoor picnic for training sessions. The participants are mainly the computer users and in charge of important data entry, analysis etc. The largest of all audiences, permanent staff requires a unique awareness program tailor made for them. 2. For temporary staff. The awareness training for this group may be conducted on ad hoc basis. They may be called in small groups over the weekend or during lean period. The temporary staff may not need as much training as the permanent staff. Since HR issues and such may not apply, they are not necessarily a separate audience, but are a subset of the computer user. 3. Contractors, agents, auditors and non-employees. This group is likely to be the most defaulter of the lot that will not follow the security policy because of ignorance. It is in the interest of the company to train this group to make sure that the security is not compromised on any account. This group may be clubbed with temporary staff and provided with the basic training. 4. Technical Staff Eye Management This is a highly specialized and separate audience from the permanent staff group. They require a unique training class, although it should be preferred that they also attend the permanent staff program. This group must also be provided enough skills to handle the emergency situations. They should also be groomed as future trainers so that regular awareness activities are handled by them. 5. Security Officer, Staff. Tilda. The Division Security Officers and Security Administrator Staff is a separate audience and they require a unique training class. Apart from technical expertise, they also need managerial acumen to handle the staff under them. 2.6.2 Level of Awareness Program Not all people face all the problems, as the responsibilities of persons differ. According to their role, their reporting and handling of the problem needs to be different. The level of security awareness and training should be commensurate with the level of access and expertise required in relation to the system components and information resources for which the employer is responsible. Security awareness and training should be incorporated for all new hired employees. All employees should receive security training prior to being provided any access to IT systems and resources. Prior to accessing any specific software applications, employees should receive specialized security training as appropriate focused for their role and responsibility relative to the software application system. The receipt of security awareness training should be documented in the Employees' personnel file with the employee's acknowledgement of having received and understood the training. Security awareness shall be promoted on an ongoing basis. The employees should have their security awareness training updated annually or upon occurrence of a specific event, such as a change in job responsibilities. Employment status ETC. 2.7 Basic Security Threats and Handling. Guidelines. In this section, we discuss basic threats that a computer user may face. We also suggest some basic guidelines that must form core of any security awareness program so that the users may become educated and informed to gauge the level of threat in order to be able to take further corrective measures. Security threats 1. Viruses, worms and their handling. Viruses are computer programs that are designed to spread themselves from one file to another on a single computer. A virus might rapidly infect every application file on an individual computer or slowly infect the documents on that computer, but it does not intentionally try to spread itself from that computer to other computers. In most cases, that's where humans come in. We send email document attachments, trade programs on pen drives or copy files to file servers. 
When the next unsuspecting user receives the infected file or disk, they spread the virus to their computer and so on. Worms, on the other hand, rely less upon human behavior in order to spread themselves from one computer to others. The computer worm is a program that is designed to copy itself from one computer to another over network. Mostly by using email, the worm spreads itself to many computers over a network and doesn't wait for a human being to help. This means that computer worms spread much more rapidly than computer viruses. It eats a lot of network bandwidth while spreading and slows down the network. How to handle, avoid viruses and worms? A user should make sure that the system has a good antivirus program installed on it. If the antivirus is not available, the demand for the same must be raised immediately. You, while sending, receiving emails, attachments should be avoided. The content of the file should be sent as a body of the email rather than as an attachment. E. Don't click links in email unless you are absolutely sure you know the sender. And recognize the URL. IV. Do not open, download an attachment file unless you trust the source. A. Do you know the person who is sending you this file? Email addresses can be spoofed. The from address can be faked. B. Does it make sense that they are sending it to you? C. Microsoft never sends operating system patches as email attachments. They will ask you to visit the Microsoft website to download any software. D. If you're not sure, ask the sender to resend the attachment to verify that. They actually sent it to you. A. Do not enter personal information into any website form unless you are certain that the website is authentic. Clicking on a link in an email can send you to any website. Make sure you are in the right place. That the website is secure. The lock icon in the bottom right corner of your browser will display as closed and highlighted. Action to be taken in case of infection. I. Contact the help desk of your organization. E. Remove your machine from the network to stop the spread of infection. E. Wait for help to arrive. 2. Passwords. Although, it may sound as absurd that the password may be a security threat. It is true that a bad password is as much a security threat as having no password. A password is a unique alphanumeric combination provided to a user or machine to prove that only the legitimate users use the systems for legitimate purposes. The user should make sure that the password has enough degree of complexity so as to make it difficult if not impossible to guess the same. A simple password may be guessed easily and the security can be compromised. Using guest password. Sharing of password is another activity that most of the computer users do as they trust their colleagues. Performed by using your password lies with you. E. You should never save your password on your local machine. Anyone who sits down at your computer will be able to access your personal information. If your browser asks you whether you want to save a password, say no. I. V. It is always a good idea to keep changing your passwords on a regular basis depending on the information you are trying to protect. Sensitive. Information equals 3 to 6 months. Less sensitive but important information 6. 12 months. 3. Surfing internet and online transactions. Most of the problems that may occur with the computer system generate while surfing internet. Internet provides us with a lot of useful materials and tools to make the exchange of information swift and easier. It is a commonplace for hacking, phishing activity also where unaware users who do not follow. Security guidelines fall prey to. I. One should never put your credit card info into a site you receive via email. The address can be spoofed or redirected and you can give away your credit card without knowing it. Type in the address of the site you would like to visit yourself to ensure you are going to the correct place. E. Always check for a security icon on your browser. This is usually in the form of a lock icon to show that the site is appropriately secured. If you don't see this icon, don't put your credit card information in. E. Try to perform online transactions only on reputed portal, which has a security certificate for example www.indiatimes.com or Amazon. I. V. Save yourself from phishing attacks. Phishing is a seam where the perpetrator sends out legitimate looking AR nails appearing to come from. Some of the popular sites like sbionline.com, IncomeTaxIndia.com. These 
Sites generally claim that your IT refund has been processed and needs to be transferred to your bank account. The unsuspecting user might give in the bank details on the form provided. This info page does not belong to the legitimate site. If you fill out your personal information and submit it, the info will go to the Fisher to be sold or used to steal your identity. We, you should never save your password with the browser unless you are very sure that it is a dedicated personal machine like your laptop. Most websites or browser often ask you to save your password. This will make it so that anyone who has access to your browser has access to all of your personal information. And if you become infected with certain viruses, your passwords will be published to the author of that virus. We, there are softwares called spywares that are downloaded automatically from many sites. Some spyware is disruptive, logs keystrokes to collect. Passwords ETC, some used for ad purposes. Most of good antivirus. Softwares have this inbuilt utility to identify and clean spywares from your machine. We, always log out from the application once you are finished. If you don't, log out of an application, especially a web-based application, the next. User may be able to hit back on the browser and access your personal information. Always log out and then close the browser when you have finished your session. 4. Get information on secure websites and SSL certificates. I. Try to make sure that the site where you wish to perform online transaction is using secure HTTP. Just look for T11 in URL in place of simple HTTP E to make sure that the website you are browsing is safe and certified for. Online transactions, you must perform secure socket layer, SSL. Certificate verification, E, to perform SSL certificate verification. Open the website and look for the lock symbol on the side of address bar of Internet Explorer or bottom. Status bar, for other browsers see help, IV, double click on the lock symbol and you will be able to see the certificate. It contains all the details such as name of the third party agency that has. Issues this, issuance date and expiry date of the certificate ETC. 5. Email and attachments. I. All the guidelines discussed under how to handle attachment problem in. Earlier topic i.e. virus. Worms and their handling should be applied in. This case also. E. And the email you tilde us must use email filters. Email filters like spam filter. ETC. Make sure that you do not receive unwanted emails in your inbox. E. Understand that email is not secure. It is like sending a postcard written in pencil. As the card is delivered it makes numerous stops and can be altered or read by various people. Personal information should never be sent via email, credit card, name phone address and date of birth in combination. IV. If you do not know the source, don't open the email, simple delete it. Did you expect the email? If not, send it back and ask for clarification. Addresses can be easily spoofed, changed to seem like the mail was sent from someone else. A good rule is to be suspicious of every email that you haven't asked someone to send. 6. Operating system and antivirus updates. Always keep the latest updates of OS installed on your machine. OS updates improves the tolerance and immunity of your system. They make it less likely. Worms and viruses will be able to exploit weaknesses. Once vulnerability is announced, viruses for that particular vulnerability can be announced within days, so set your system to update automatically. Antivirus protects your system from malicious code that is embedded in an attachment you download from email, from a website you visit or sent directly to you through the network without your taking any action besides turning on your computer. Antivirus matches file types to known definitions for viruses and either doesn't allow the file to be installed, sends it to a quarantine area, or deletes it. Most OS and antivirus have their regular updates available online. It is highly recommended that the update should be set to automatic mode in case your machine is connected to internet. Otherwise, efforts should be made to obtain latest update and install it on the machine. 7. Firewall a personal firewall, sometimes called a desktop firewall, is a software application used to protect a single internet-connected computer from intruders. Often compared to antivirus applications, personal firewalls work in the 
background at the device level to protect the integrity of the system from malicious computer code by controlling internet connections to and from a user's computer, filtering inbound and outbound traffic and alerting the user to attempted intrusions. Windows XP has a built-in firewall, all other OSs need a third-party software. Application from one of the major vendors, such as McAfee, Norton, 8, Lock Screen Saver. Setting up a screen saver that locks when you step away from your desk is always a good idea. Set it to your own time limit and to require a password to activate. Lock your computer whenever you leave by hitting Ctrl-Alt. Delete and choosing Lock Workstation. 2.8 Summary This unit presents the need of security awareness from a point of view of both the end user as well as the organization, be it the government or an enterprise. Dot. The unit starts with outlining the fundamentals of security awareness where the need and justification of having an awareness program is presented. We have also discussed the security awareness program life cycle that includes awareness program design, materials development, program implementation, and post-implementation activities. We have also proposed three models for implementing the security awareness program. The security awareness program can be broken into two logical sub-programs, namely awareness sessions and awareness materials. Awareness sessions are generally conducted in-house to apprise users of policies and safeguards relating to security aspects. The materials help in reinforcing the concepts as well as maintaining the continuity which is most important. Since a new category of threats are discovered regularly, therefore the handling technique also needs to be updated and communicated to the users on a regla basis. The best way to implement the security policies is to include them as a part of regular activities such as induction, follow-up, orientation programs and signed agreements etc. In the end, we have discussed basic security threats and guidelines on how to handle them. Guidelines relating to emails, choosing good passwords, setting firewalls, updates of OS and antivirus etc. are discussed. Thank you for watching. We will see you in the next video with the next chapter.